there's a man by the name of William Billy, Billy Johnson, who is kind of the, the pioneer for Western Africa uh, to bring the church there. And we got to meet him one, one time in the temple during our mission. So it was really cool to meet him and, and hear his story. Uh, but just briefly, if you want more to get more history, there's a great movie called Pioneers of Africa, and it has a lot of, of this man's journey um, in all of Africa in general and the growth there. So great movie if you ever have a chance to watch it. But what I can give you briefly is um, he, a very spiritual man looking for truth, uh, had a dream one day about seeing a book with an angel on it. Um, turns out that he was praying one day. And underneath his bed was a book, lots of books. And one of them was that same Angel Moroni. And it was one of the versions of the Book of Mormon that had the blue cover with just the Angel Moroni. And so he opened it up, but the page was torn out that said, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so this is the book he saw in his dream. And so he knew what he was supposed to be doing. He just didn't know what church it belonged to. And so he read it and he's like, this book is true. And he knew it was true. And he knew that God wanted him to start um, start preaching it. Um, unfortunately he just didn't know what church it belonged to. And so, uh, he actually started forming a group and I hope I'm not making any of this up. This is why I remember. So if I'm wrong, sorry, it's a faulty memory. But what I do remember is he started a group where he just started getting people together and started teaching them from the book of Mormon. Um, in a long story short, I think they finally figured out that it was the church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. And then they started sending over messages to the church headquarters saying, Hey, bring over missionaries, bring over missionaries, bring us, give us more pamphlets. Tell us what we need to do to get baptized and things like this. And it took a long time. Uh, they had to be patient. It took many years from the time that he first got that book uh, to when missionaries were finally sent. But when they were finally sent, there was just an explosion of growth. I mean, thousands. When the first missionaries, there were a couple of missionaries that went to Ghana in West Africa, and they baptized thousands um, of people who were ready and willing to to follow Christ. Um, and so that was really neat. And the church has just been growing ever since. Um, what was interesting was there was a what they call a freeze, where the LDS church was not allowed to practice for a time. And so what was cool is Willie will um, Brother Johnson took it upon himself to say, Hey, even though we can't formally come to a church, we need to be meeting at our homes. And so they kind of secretly gathered and I can't remember if they partook of the sacrament or not, but they got together and almost like a home teaching type or a family home evening thing, got our group together and they still uh, worship God and taught each other from, from the pamphlets that are given from the church. And so even with that freeze, they were still faithful members. And then they finally, um, the country of God took that away. And, and like I said, it's been growing ever since. And, and it's just, it's, it's getting ready to explode. So as the theme is this year, hastening of the, the work, salvation, it's, that's Africa is one place that that's really, really happening. So it's, it is, it's an exciting time.